Now in the last episode, we replaced a timing belt water pump tensioner and bearings on a 2006 Acura TL. And today I'll be showing what that belt looks like after 17 years of usage. Now I did this some time ago on a Subaru with 105,000 miles. So let's see what the Honda belt looks like. Now I know everything here is original simply because I've had the vehicle since 70,000 miles and now has 110,000. And the original owner is a good friend of mine. And I know for certain he never replaced the timing belt uh, before that 70,000 mile mark. The amazing thing to see is the belt looks practically brand new. There are no tears anywhere in the belt, no stretch marks, no wear and tear in terms of uh, at least what I can see. It looks to be, besides the lettering that is no longer on the belt, it looks to be almost unused. And that is, I mean, just the quality of not only Honda, but Toyota. It's something that you see over and over again. So the belt itself is in terrific, terrific shape. But the reason why you want to complete this entire job, meaning all of these other components, is because typically these other parts could wear way before the timing belt. Let me show you. Now here we have the original water pump. The first thing that comes to mind, the housing is metal. The propeller shaft is metal. Really high quality. There's no play in the bearing. There's no squeaking from the bearing. Now the reason why I mention that, Many modern vehicles within the last few years, you'll find plastic, plastic water pumps. And you may be able to upgrade to metal by an aftermarket company. So this is factory metal parts. The only wear, and this is a video grab I did comparing the old pump to the new pump, is the weep hole. And you can see some coolant was slowly being leaked out of this point. That means that the seals are slowly being degraded and really it's time to replace the pump. I never smelled coolant, never coolant on the ground. So it must have been really, really slow. But nonetheless, always a good idea when you replace the timing belt to replace every component. So here we have the hydraulic tensioner. Very, very small component, but really important. This applies just the right amount of pressure on the timing belt. So it's not too loose nor too rigid. Now what happens, very often people overlook this and reuse the tensioner. In fact, a lot of manuals say you can just reuse it. It's not a good idea because you can see on the end that the seal is starting to fail and the hydraulic fluid is slowly leaking out. Now these can be a little pricey, but your best bet purchase an entire kit. Your local parts store most likely has a kit that includes everything you need. You can save a lot of money and replace this as you do the job, okay? And then lastly, we have the idler bearings. Now, once again, this is why you want to purchase an entire kit with all of the parts, because if I went to Acura and purchased these parts from a dealership, I'm paying a lot more money for the same parts. And I'll show you what I mean. So these are the factory bearings from Japan when they built the car at the factory. And you don't see Acura and you don't see Honda. You see Koyo. Same with the other bearing. Let me show you. So these are all factory bearings and still in terrific shape. No squeaking, no play, no leaking. These are very high quality quality parts. So really all that we have here after 17 years, slight leakage from the water pump. That's it. Not too bad. And little, little failure here of the seal on the tensioner. The belt looks fantastic. The bearings are in really good shape as well. So I hope this gives you a really good idea if you owned a Honda Accord or even an Acura TL or any of their products uh, among their models really really high quality stuff and i hope this is sort of helpful to anyone watching this and as always thank you for watching